Hi guys, welcome back to DAT and in this video we are going to be looking at the Flywheel Explorer again and we are going to be doing the installation of the Cadex Vista unit. Sit there, let's see how it goes. So here we are guys, here's the um, Flywoo, here's my Calyx Vista, and we are gonna get this right in here so we can get it all set up, ready to fly. So first things first, gonna take the top plate off, and then we'll look at trimming this cable here. And this cable is marked up, and from what I can make out, it's the um, TX and RX3 that I need to connect, because I've obviously got Crossfire in it, so I don't need any S-Bus receiver. So without further ado, let's go. Let's get this top plate off. So there we can get a look at what's going on inside. Doesn't actually look like this battery strap was pinned down anywhere. So hopefully it should be okay. Obviously it's gonna be tucked in here. Maybe I might stick a zip tie around it somewhere. Just put it in there. I've got a tiny zip tie that'll do the job. So yeah, I'll probably put a little zip tie around it just to relieve a bit of pressure just in case. I'm also probably gonna get rid of this foam pad on top here and just add a couple of dabs of Velcro and then put Velcro on the battery as well. I just think it's a bit more, a bit, a bit better really, just more secure. It gives me a bit more confidence that the battery's not just gonna eject. So this Cadex, Take these little bolts off. There we go, the four little bolts are off. <clears throat> so Cadex unit is gonna sit that side up. So this cable will be out the back. So I just wanna make sure I don't cut it too short. I think that Cadex unit will actually relieve the pressure on the actual battery strap cable even. It will fit, so let's not worry about that. Let's remove these because they'll fall off. Right, now. There's no going back with this now, so make sure I have enough slack. There's no going back, let's just go for it. So there, we have our cables ready to go. We're gonna tin these up, and then we'll get them connected. As you can see here, what we need, we only need the yellow and the white, yellow and the white, TX3, RX3, those are the ones we need. We also need the power and the ground, red and black, yellow and white. So let's get this pre-tinned, we'll get this connected up, and we'll get this all back into place, and it'll be done rather quickly, hopefully. So what we need to do is now just wire these up to the actual connections on the Vista unit. And what you have here, if you can see, this is your power, this is your ground, this one is RX, and this one is TX. So whichever is TX goes to the RX, whichever is RX goes to TX. So you have to reverse them. So we've got yellow is TX. Yellow TX, so yellow will go to RX. 
So yellow would be the third one in. And then white is RX. And that will go to the fourth one. So white the fourth. Easy. So we've got red. Red, black, yellow and white. There we go. They are all in place. They look quite nice. So. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my goggles up here. I'm gonna make sure that this is actually all in place. And I may take this cable off or I may just cut it short and tape it so it doesn't interfere with anything. So stay there, I'll be back with my goggles. So I brought my goggles up and we're going to see if my wiring or my soldering is done correctly and we're going to make sure that actually you can actually see what's going on before I do any trimming or do anything with this cable here. So I'm going to power this up. I've got a, I've actually got a 4S battery. They do recommend that this is the 850, so it is an 850 4S. I've got a XT30 adapter on the battery, which is a smart idea guys. If you ever got a bunch of forest batteries with the XT60 um, on, like these ones, you can get these little adapters, which will convert it into a 30. So it'll save you buying loads more batteries, and just use that. So, let's get some power in this, see if this fires up, and see if we can see it in the goggles. Ooh, I've got lights. I've got buzzers. Let's see if we've got a picture. Let's get some power in these goggles. There we go. Well, I've got a green light on the Vista, so everything seems okay. Yes. You see that? We have a picture. It is working. It's my hand. Perfect. So let's get that disconnected before it overheats. So obviously this Vista is already connected to my goggles so I don't have to connect anything. It's all ready to go, which is great. So all we have to do now is see what I'm gonna do with this little blue cable here because it isn't needed. I think I need to turn this buzzer off actually. There we go, yeah. So this buzzer's on. It's got its own power cell. It will buzz, so we need to turn it off. There's a little button there, which just turned it straight off. Perfect. All right, get rid of this cardboard. So, what have we got now? We need the antenna on as well. So we've got the antenna here. That's one thing, I just powered it without an antenna on, so hopefully I haven't just screwed it. <clears throat> hopefully it's all okay, so if I buggered that, oh God. There's one thing guys, you should always connect the actual antenna before you power these up. I think, my fingers crossed, I haven't just ruined this. There's little things like that, you see, even I forget things. Not good, not happy about that. So, we'll carry on like nothing happened. You want to use the actual DJIS bus, you need to keep it obviously. Mm. 
There, that's it. That's just a little bit of electrical tape just covering that wire and that will be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this in here and I am actually going to attach the antenna first. So we're going to put the antenna through the actual mount. Like so. And then we're going to attach the antenna to the back. And there we go, she's on, she's clipped into place. There we go, antenna's on. Always have your antenna on before you start the Vista unit. Always a good idea. Right, now we're gonna put this in place. I'll probably just forward this bit because it takes a little bit of time, it's a bit fiddly. So there we go. All I've done here is I've just tightened up the four bolts on the Cadex Vista unit. Hopefully you can see that, there it is. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna, is, what we're gonna do now is attach the antenna back to the stacks on the back. That just pushes on, 3D mount just pushes on. That will be fine there. And now we're going to attach the camera. It should be straightforward. There we go. <coughs> I'm going to tighten that up as soon as everything's in place. So that's on the front, sits nicely in this TPU mount and very protected actually. So, so what's next? Not a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to do something with this SMO power cable. I'm going to take the paper off, just for now I'm going to have to just tuck it away somewhere because I am going to use it, I do hope I have a camera on the way but it's a little bit redundant right now I'm going to have to tape him off because I don't want him popping out and getting stuck in a prop so he's going to have to hide away Just like that, I'm going to tape him and then hope that they don't actually come out. I may put a loose zip tie over the middle of that just to make sure it doesn't come out. Okay, so top back on. We'll see where everything sits and if it's sort of okay. <clears throat> May have to just wear the. It's so cramped in there, this is the problem. It's busy in here. No RX out of nano nano BT wasn't it? BT module.
Okay, that's going to stay there. That's better. That's better. There she is. <clears throat> I think there's enough room to feed your battery strap in. Well, it's tight though, isn't it? It's really tight. There you go, guys. My Flower Explorer is pretty much ready to go. Canix Vista unit is in place. I obviously made that one fatal error of powering up the actual unit without attaching the antenna. If you're doing this yourselves, please don't make that stupid mistake. Hopefully my unit will be okay. The only way I'm gonna find out is by actually doing the first flight and seeing if anything is wrong with it. And the first flight is gonna be in the next video that I do. The next video, we are gonna be looking at the beta flight setup, making sure everything's in place, seeing what we can do with that GPS unit on the back, um, and making sure that everything's configured correctly. So. Do hit that subscribe, do it the thumbs up, and let's keep on doing this. Cheers guys, see you again.